This video explains how to use the offset function in sketching to apply an offset to design data. Because sketching was the last used application, it can be accessed from this back button. Here's one I sketched earlier. It's possible to add an offset to this sketch. This example will be a 0.5 meter excavation line. Select offsets from the sketching functions menu. The info panel advises to select which elements to offset. Either points or lines can be selected. In this case, each individual line shall be selected. If it's not clear which element is selected on screen, maybe there are a lot of elements in one area, the element selection list is displayed. Select the individual element from there. Zoom in to ensure the correct line is selected first time, to avoid the selection list being displayed. Tap and hold zoom out to perform a zoom extent function. Now that all the lines are selected, input a uniform offset value. In this case, 0.5 meters. The complete sketch has now been offset by 0.5 meters, as displayed by the blue line around the initial sketch. Use the flip button to display that offset on the inside of the sketch, and press again to go back to the outside. There's also a toggle button for the draw line feature, to just display the points if that's what's important. A further function is in the toolbox called store projection. Choose to display the projection points for the corner of each offset. Once the required format is defined, it's the green accept key to store. The offset points and lines are stored in grey. So the offsets function within Sketch is a quick and easy way to add further detail to design data without the need for additional office software.